As the new president prepares to take office, the last cabinet selection to be made, Secretary of Agriculture. Farm policy, not much of an issue during the campaign. We talked with Nebraska Farm Bureau. Here's more. Joined by Jordan Dooks, Director of National Affairs for Nebraska Farm Bureau. Change kind of the key word in Washington these days. We know when you look at across the board in Washington, you have a new administration coming in, which means change generally. But when you have the Trump administration now, um, that's kind of a wild card in a lot of ways. Uh, it's still forming a cabinet. We'll see what those picks are. So we're going to have to see how this all forms together, how they work together, and see what their priorities are moving forward. Well, and certainly one of the big things that's going to be coming, uh, it's not too early to start talking about, is that next farm bill. Absolutely, and it's definitely not too early to talk, start talking about the next farm bill. Congress has indicated that they're ready to begin conversations early next year, uh, and uh, Farm Bureau, other ag organizations are going to be asked what works, what didn't in, in the last farm bill, and what do we like, what do we want to see changed. Getting back to the, the, the presidential campaign, really not a lot of talk about agricultural policy this year. You know, not a large conversation about direct agricultural issues, but agriculture is affected just like everyone else in when it comes to health care, uh, regulatory reform, tax code reform, and trade. Those are all issues I think that were that got a lot of attention on the campaign trail and, and some and all of those are issues that we find extremely important that we're ready to engage on. Regulatory reform very much so. You know federal regulations uh, uh, you can't uh, you can't talk to a farmer without hearing about new and, and regulations whether it be the waters of the U.S. rule or or new rules on, on, on anhydrous ammonia that was trying to be pushed through and so you know we're ready for that conversation to find a way to make some sense in our regulatory uh, process and, and maybe pair, and maybe pair that back and, and let's see what we can do there. Trade was a huge yeah. issue in this presidential year. Uh, I think folks in agriculture are a little disappointed on the tone on TPP, mm -hmm. but the, the new president does say he wants good trade deals. Is there a possibility to take a deal like TPP make it better or make some bilateral deals with some of these countries individually um, because certainly when, when we look at some of the tariff situations for agricultural exports into some of these countries, it's 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 pretty negative proposition for folks in agriculture that we, we can do better than what we've got right now. When you get into the weeds on this on this particular issue, it makes us a little nervous when you look at um, an administration that is talking that is using the T word, tariff, and, and things like that. Because when you look at uh, trade challenges with other countries, the first thing that other countries challenge or put tariffs on or penalize um, when we have trade discussions or trade disagreements uh, or agricultural products. Uh, it, it's, it becomes extremely problematic and when you have uh, over 20 percent I believe of, of the, in the income from a farmer and rancher uh, that is because of international trade um, that is something we are, are paying attention to very closely. We're going to work very closely with the administration to try to educate, to try to provide some input as to why trade is important, why we need to continue to work on free trade agreements and if there are ways we can make existing free trade agreements better um, we want to be a part of those conversations. All right, Jordan, thanks so, so much. Thank you. Weather's up next and still to come, a super weed that can devastate yields in corn and soybeans. We'll have more on Palmer Amaranth. Stay with us.